Hi, my name is Dr. Ronan Kelly from the Charles A. Salmons Cancer Center at Baylor University Medical Center. And I'm delighted to talk to you today about a poster that we've done in conjunction with Exact Sciences involving multi-cancer early detection. So this study, as you can see here, is called the Falcon Registry. It's um, a multi-cancer early detection real-world evidence registry to try to understand the impact of MSED testing on Americans. So here we'll see some of the background. It's estimated that 14% of cancers are detected through standard of care. That means we have a huge population of patients in the U.S. who only present with alarm symptoms and we haven't detected the cancer early. We need to do something to change that if we're going to bend the mortality curve. As we know, the new National Cancer Plan calls for a, a reduction in cancer mortality of 50% over the next 25 years. Early detection is the only way to do that. And this is one of the largest studies that's ongoing in the U.S. MSEDs are, are multi-cancer early detection. They're blood tests that are done at the time of a patient's visit to a primary care doctor. So we anticipate this could become a standard blood test, part of an annual physical moving forward, if in the future these are FDA approved. Um, however, they are being released on the market. We have one on the market right now. Um, called the GRAIL test or the gallery test and exact sciences. This one is called Cancer Guard, which is their blood test. And there's other ones coming on the market. But this is a very exciting study. You can see uh, Exact have been developing this blood test for many years. And the design of the study is that we will enroll 25,000 patients who will get these uh, blood tests. And then there'll be a standard of care cohort of 50,000. So we'll be tracking 25,000 patients uh, who get these blood tests. The average um, target population is males to females, age 50 to 80. Any man or woman who has no prior history of cancer is eligible. And in Texas, where we're enrolling really a huge number of patients, we are seeing enormous interest. I I've never seen anything like the, the interest in patients here. The, the decline rate is the lowest I've ever seen. It's less than 5%. So patients are very, very interested. Um, they are presenting through our primary care services. And the doctors are talking to the patients about enrolling on this study. If they want to enroll, they simply get a blood test at the same time as their CBC or their Chem 20. Now, if we look at the, um, the diagnostic workup here, when you get a blood test, this goes to Madison, Wisconsin, to the laboratories of exact sciences. It takes about, we say two weeks, but it's actually in reality a little bit shorter to get a result back. Sometimes it can be 10 days. But I think... 10 days to two weeks is a good estimate of when the result will be available. This is available on our EPIC uh, chart. So the doctors who ordered it can see it. It's a positive or negative result. The good news is for Americans, 99, 98, 99% of people who screen at a population level will be negative, but 1% to 2% will be positive. And what we're doing on that is any patient who has a positive blood test, we get them to a CAT scanner within two weeks. And we're controlling that narrative through our smartphone app on our phones. In Baylor Scott & White, we have a smartphone app called My Baylor Scott & White Health. Patients can see that at home. So this is now a new journey into virtual healthcare where you can help patients control their diagnostic journey even from home. Now they go and they get a CAT scan. If the CAT scan is negative, then they will go back to their primary care doctors. They go back to their normal way of life, but then they can have another blood test in years one and two. So it's a three year evaluation. If they have a positive finding on the CAT scan, if it's, if it's clearly positive, they, uh, we refer them to the surgeon or to the medical oncologist. And again, we're trying to control that narrative through the app so patients can see with their loved ones when their doctor's appointment is. And that concern and that distress that occurs with a diagnostic journey like this, hopefully we can help overcome. If the CAT scan is somewhat ambiguous and if we're not sure if the patient has any positive findings or negative findings, we are organizing a PET CT for everybody who has a negative CAT scan. And again, if that's negative, then they go back to their standard of care. If it's positive, if we see a lesion in the kidney or the lung or the pancreas, they are referred to the right uh, surgeon or medical oncologist. Now, a key component of this is what is the distress that these tests cause in real world Americans. And I don't think any other study has really started evaluating that yet. We are actually tracking the psychological distress using validated tools in patients through their smartphone where they answer us in real time 
about what do they think about this whole experience. And I think that's absolutely crucial moving forward so people can have uh, a real world experience of, of how patients are understanding this test, what the implications of this test are, and how we can move forward and start diagnosing cancer in more Americans earlier than ever before, which is the hope of this study.